Corneal collagen crosslinking is a procedure that has proven effective in strengthening the cornea and preventing it from becoming progressively thinner. The procedure has been available internationally since 1998 and is approved by the FDA in the United States. The cornea consists of layers that are cross-linked together by collagen fibers that give it its strength. With the disease called keratoconus, these cross-links degenerate over time, causing the cornea to weaken, bulge forward, and create a distorted, irregular, cone-like appearance. The medical term for this is called ectasia, which is defined as the thinning and distortion of a membrane. Rarely, if early keratoconus is present but not diagnosed, ectasia can be triggered by corneal refractive procedures such as PRK or LASIK. If the remaining corneal tissue is not sufficient to counter the intraocular pressure within the eye that gives it its shape, the cornea can bulge forward and become progressively thinner. The corneal cross-linking procedure works similarly for both ectasia and keratoconus. The procedure involves applying riboflavin eye drops, also known as vitamin B2, on the cornea until the corneal layers are deeply saturated. Once this occurs, the cornea is exposed to ultraviolet light. Applying ultraviolet light produces a reaction with the riboflavin that results in strengthening of the cornea. This makes the cornea stronger and stiffer and can stop the progression of keratoconus or post-refractive surgery corneal thinning. After the procedure, a contact lens bandage may be placed over the cornea to aid in the healing process. Once the eye is stabilized, in most cases, glasses or contact lenses can be prescribed to provide optimal vision. Corneal cross-linking can also be performed along with or after laser vision correction to improve vision. Although cross-linking typically does not restore 20-20 uncorrected vision, some patients do regain a line or two of vision on the eye chart after the procedure. 